Kaiser Jose. Hey, Sammy, long time. Yes, it's been since the beginning of November. As a military brat, my father was a U.S. Army chaplain. I grew up in the uh, U.S. Army culture. As I grew up and grew apart from that culture, I've always been surprised that the military is a conservative GOP-leaning entity. If anything, life in the uh, military is the most socialist existence in the U.S. culture. You're employed, educated, fed, nursed, provided goods, and we're told to live by the government. Certainly, it's trade-off that you're risking your life for country, but you are so insulated on a military base, especially in a foreign country. Pensions are good. Many leave the armed forces to work for military contractors. For some call civilian government workers uh, leeches. Other names seem so hypocritical from my perspective. If the GOP were to go after the general officer pensions, it's hard to they go after school teacher pensions. There'd be a huge blueback, blowback. Thoughts? Well, first of all, that's exactly what um, Marcus Melitsis, uh used to say. It was the military that taught him about socialism and about um, social programs. I mean, look. And even in the point that you make, I think you've got it backwards. If we give the military all this for risking their lives, in other words, if they're willing to pay the highest price, we're willing to give them the highest amount of benefits. Doesn't that put to lie the idea that if we were to provide these benefits for the rest of society, that somehow that would be a bad thing? I mean, if we want to give the military personnel the highest tribute that freedom lovers could love, the freedom lovers think is the most cherished quality, wouldn't it be just vouchers for private medical care? Or even that? Wouldn't it be the opportunity to go to charter schools and not have a VA? I mean, of course. I mean, if you want to make the argument that, yes, we provide socialism for our military personnel because they've earned it by risking their lives and we simply can't afford it for everybody else, well, then make that argument. But don't say that we are denying by having government take over medic uh, um, you know, health insurance that somehow we are de depriving people of freedom. What about those slaves that we got in the military? They don't seem to be complaining about it too much.